Let's discuss the objective problem number 3 from ISI BSTAT entrance 2014. This asks number of solutions of the trigonometrical equation tan x plus sec x is equal to twice of cos s, where x varies from 0 to pi. So this con problem is based on the concept of solution of trigonometrical equations. First, so the key idea of this problem is at x equal to pi by 2, tan x is un undefined because cos x gives 0. So now we have to get rid of this difficulty from this equation to solve it. So let us start by taking this equation again. 10x plus sec x is equal to twice of cos x. When we see this 10x plus sec x, we instantly think of the trigonometrical identity sec square x minus 10 square x is equal to 1. So factorizing the left hand side of this identity, we get sec x minus 10x times sec x plus 10x is equal to 1. So the given value of sec x plus 10x is twice of cos x. So this can be replaced with twice of cos x. And then we get sec x minus 10x is equal to sec x over 2, which simplifies to be sec x over 2 minus 10x is equal to 0. And we can simplify it more to get sec x over 2 is equal to sin x over cos x or sin x is equal to 1 over 2. Now within 0 to pi we need to understand when sin gives the value the sin function gives the value. So if we look at the graph of sin which looks like this at 0 the output of sin is 0 and then it rises to 1 at pi by 2 then it again comes down to 0 at pi and then the same curve on the negative side repeats and this is the graph of sin till 0 to 2 pi. Now if you look at the graph between 0 to pi, so this is the point 0 and this is the point pi, the graph is symmetric about the line x equal to pi by 2. So somewhere there we have the output half which is basically we know pi by 6 at x equal to pi by 6 point we have this. So as this graph is symmetric we will have that half output here again which will be at pi by 6 distance from here. So this is basically pi minus pi by 6 which is 5 pi by 6. So the value of x when sin x is equal to 2 within 0 to pi should be pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6. So there are two solutions of this equation. Thank you for watching. We will meet in the next video.